But he had a really big vision. And, and Bill Rouse was a person who could do something. I mean, he could do stuff. I mean, he could build buildings. And that was really, really important, And that, that he built buildings. I, 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 frankly speaking, was stunned. I, I'm, I'm a, I was on the city council of Philadelphia. I was the fifth district council person. Liberty Place was in my district. And, I, and the opposition to it was unbelievable. And, 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 it was, and so much of it was coming from the business community. I mean, people didn't want those buildings. They, they claimed it was going to just suck the tenants out of the, the buildings, that the existing space, and we were going to end up with a whole lot of empty Class B space, and it just wasn't a good idea, blah, blah, blah. And what city council did was create an environment where it had to happen. I mean, we created a political environment, a kind of a, 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 a just draft for breaking this height limit, because we started talking about all the jobs and all, and then Bill Rouse was a, was a great salesperson. He stood up and said, not a penny, not a dime. In fact, I remember sitting down with him and, and they negotiated a deal with the Redevelopment Authority whereby he would reimburse the Redevelopment Authority for costs associated that it incurred in negotiating the deal with him. <laughs> so it wasn't, this wasn't costing the city any money. And, and most of us under the, under the circumstances couldn't understand why we wouldn't, I mean, we weren't, we, we understood that uh, this was going to, these were huge tax rateables.